Produced by Malik. I just want to really quickly add this, and I'm going to add this in the beginning of the video because I believe it's important. Yesterday's update, How to Breed Zebra Playclothes with Dr. Thomas. If you haven't watched it, I'll put the link up here. I guess up here right there. Check that out because it's quite important. Now, a lot of people have uh, misconstrued that what I was saying uh, into thinking that changing the pH is what triggers the fish to spawn. It's not the pH change that what triggers the fish to spawn. The fish will spawn at any pH. What triggers the fish to spawn is the lowering of the carbonate hardness. Now, by lowering the carbonate hardness, you are inadvertently also affecting the pH. And that's why I stress the pH so, so much in the video, which I think is why a lot of you guys have misconstrued what I said. And I got a lot of uh, questions today on my Facebook uh, personal messenger from a lot of you guys, as well as I've, I skimmed through some of the comments, which also seem to correlate to uh, what uh, happened. So what I was trying to say was, when you change the carbonate hardness of your water, that's when that's what affects your pH to go down so you have to really monitor your pH as you're affecting the carbonate hardness and make sure that your pH does not crash below like an unsafe level for your fish and then you have to bring it up too fast and that could inadvertently kill your fish as well so this is what I was trying to say so I'm gonna make an entire update video on that so subscribe if you haven't and stay tuned for that it's coming up I'm pretty sure the next one coming up uh, and uh, so let's get into today's video about why I quit my job. What's going on world? Welcome back to Malik's Water Garden. Today's going to be a vlog style video where I'm just going to explain to you some of the stuff that's going on in my personal life regarding myself as well as how it pertains to the fish room and to you guys. And also tell you about some of the updates that are coming up in the upcoming videos as well as answer some of the questions that many of you had in the previous video. There's a lot of comments, uh, really intelligent comments actually. I'm going to go through all of them later today and answer you guys individually. I do answer all the comments at some point. If it, it's the one week, it might be two weeks because I'm, I might get busy with life and other stuff, but I do get to all the comments and I can answer all the comments. So I highly recommend if you have questions, comment down below and ask them and I will try to answer them directly on the comment or answer them in videos that are upcoming as well. So having said that, uh, to pertain to the title of the topic, I'm actually not going to turn off any of the filters or anything because it's not always uh, good for the fish tanks to be turned off like for extended periods of time for me to film. So this is going to be like a straight shot vlog video and uh, I'm going to give you guys the real truth. The COVID cases in my country are going up. We've actually had 1,700 new cases today, a little more than that. And uh, I'm actually not going to work. So, like, I've actually told my agent that I'm not taking any jobs because it's not safe for me to be outside. I can't afford that. These guys cannot afford that because if I got sick, I cannot be here. And that means my fish are going to die. My dog is pregnant. And, uh, yeah. Also, if you haven't checked out the dog breeding video, I'll put a link up here. Check that out. It's really cool. It's really informative. And, uh... The vet cannot say that my dog is pregnant yet because they can't do the ultrasound until it's about five weeks. But I know my dog and yeah, she's pregnant. And basically, uh, we're gonna have puppies soon. So stay tuned for that and subscribe if you haven't for the update video on new puppies. I'm gonna be actually documenting the entire delivery process. So comment below and let me know if you want me to document the delivery process because I deliver at home. The last litter of puppies was delivered in this house and uh, we had six healthy puppies, all six were doing really well and they are at new homes now and uh, the, the parents, uh, so the new parents, if anybody is watching this video uh, you can meet all the previous parents, they all have Instagrams and all that and they have a little community, we actually have a, a greater community of puppy parents like I belong to it as well, where I got my puppies from as well as the stud his family also has a huge connection with all the puppies so we are very involved in these in the lives of these animals after they leave our houses and uh, they are like I call them my grandbabies so some of them actually had puppies this year I'm actually not happy about that because uh, the person bred my dog without my permission and uh, but at the same time my great grandbabies look really nice so I'm really happy that he did produce some good looking puppies but uh, I, I do think about uh, if I should sue them or not, but uh, I'm not going to do that because uh, they did sign a contract and the puppy and then the, the dog is registered to me and uh, it does have a microchip. So like I can actually track the dog down at any point in time. Anytime the dog comes into a vet, all I have to say is the dog is gone missing. 
can you find it? And they'll tell me the last time it was at the vet because the doctor pressure to my name. So um, that's essentially what that is. And uh, <laughs> Elaine, I'm not sure if you're watching my channel, but if you are, not cool uh, if you bred my dog without my permission. And uh, But anyways, uh, out of that, that side note aside, uh, there's a lot of other cool things happening. So because of all these things going on and because of COVID and because of uh, what's going on around the world right now and the, the global situation as well as the domestic situation, I decided I'm not going to work. Now my job is not like a, a 9 to 5 type of job, it's a gig type of job. I work in the film and uh, television industry. I do commercials, TV shows and movies and I act in them. I do background acting, I do stand-in work, I do big... Uh, crew work, like location services, location management, um, all kinds of jobs in this field. Now, also I write music for film and television. Now, all these things require, most of them actually require me to physically be there, and uh, all those jobs I am no longer taking until the end of COVID. I'm still doing uh, music for film and television, so I'm writing music you know, for different stuff right now. I can't reveal all the information on all the things that I, I am currently working on. It's not a lot. But I do have some work there. But uh, the rest of the time, I'm going to be dedicating to my fish room. So these things, and you'll be getting a daily update from me from now on. So hopefully, I'm going to be motivated enough to make updates for you guys. I'm also getting new fish in the coming week. I got, I'm getting L134 group as well as L264 groups. So these are all adult fish, all over 3 inches. And I'm getting 2 males and 4 females of each species. So we'll be looking at those in the upcoming weeks and months and uh, you'll see an unboxing video when they finally do arrive. They're not being shipped or anything. My friend who lives about 20 minutes away from my house, uh, Jason, he has them in stock. So if you guys are in the greater Toronto area, he has a huge selection of Playcos in stock right now. Uh, L134s, L264s, uh, L262s. He has uh, L18s, I believe. Uh, he has L56. Uh, so Para Ancestors, Auranticus. Uh, he has a lot of different species that came in recently and uh, so if you guys are in the greater Toronto area this is not a paid advertisement but I really believe that he has the best fish when it comes down to it he does take the greatest care when he brings the fish in and he also has great after sale customer service where he actually is concerned about the well-being of the fish more than the few dollars he might make because the fish are actually being sold for the cost that it incurs to him to bring them in plus the shipping as well as uh, any losses and there's not a lot of profit he adds on them because I know exactly how much these fish cost. I talk to the same distributors that are in South America. I'm friends with a lot of them on Facebook and stuff. I get all their stock lists and I know exactly how much shipping costs and stuff is. So if you are buying fish from Jason, you're not paying a lot of money. This is what I'm going to tell you guys. And he didn't ask me to tell this stuff. This is basically what I totally believe. And this is out of the goodness of my heart. I'm just doing this for him as well as for you guys because a lot of you guys want these fish and a lot of these fish do not come available all the time for example the L262s they're only available right now and I've only seen them available in Ontario right now I've never seen them available before today and I don't know if I'm gonna see them available again until he brings them in so because of that reason I'm gonna pick them up you know what I'm saying he might have some more leftovers so just say um, uh, anyways Having said that, I'm just going to say that from now on, I'm going to be spending a lot more time in the fish room. I do have a lot of work left in the garden. I still have a lot of tomato plants up there. I still have a lot of carrot beds that I put in, my winter carrots. I have potatoes that I need to harvest. If you Comment below and let me know if you guys want to see a harvesting video. I have a lot of uh, footage. I just The videos that I put out before didn't take a lot of traction, even the dog breeding video. If you guys haven't checked it out, I put the link earlier in the video as well. I'll try to put it down below too. So, um, but it didn't get a lot of traction. I mean, you guys are more into Playcos, it seems. So, but I do have an epic garden on my rooftop. So, comment below if you guys want to see my epic garden, and I'll give you guys an update on me harvesting a ton of vegetables. I harvested a lot of vegetables this year. It's crazy how much vegetables I harvested, like out of my little tiny 200 square foot space. I mean, it's a huge space, but like I'm not using all of it. But next year, if things are going to go the way it is, and if we are going to need more food, I'm going to be 
spending more time up there next summer and, and growing more food and that's the plan at least uh, but right now I still have a lot of work up there but aside from that I'm going to be dedicating the rest of my time to the fish room and to you guys and to making these daily video updates so I'm not going to be doing a lot of edited videos on every single day because that's going to be a lot of taxing and it has been difficult for me to make spend four hours every day out of my day to make an edited video but I will be at least making two to three of those every week so stay tuned for those I'm going to make it, be making an L471 update I have about 50 fry in different fry boxes so you'll see some of those guys I have about 13 adults that are doing really nice there are some big spot ones I'll put some uh, footage down here so you can see some b-roll of how they look and I uh, have maybe 20 L199 fry maybe a little bit more actually I have four in the next box so maybe uh, about 23 24 and uh, they are all doing great and uh, I'm really happy to announce that I'm really being successful with these fish so I'll be making updates about all these fish and care and maintenance videos about the L199 Hypancestrus furunculus as well as L471, a Hypancestrus species, dwarf snowball placos. Now, uh, aside from those, I'll also be making an update on how to breed these guys, the L340s. Essentially, a lot of cool stuff is coming your way in the next few weeks and months. So stay tuned, subscribe if you haven't, and hit that notification icon so you can get upload updated when new videos like this as well as many other informative videos get uploaded. As always, thank you so much for your support. I love you all. I'll see you on the next video. God bless you all.